We're in Kazan today and we're going to talk about Akbar's. Last season the team went through revolutionary changes. It's going to be a busy night tonight. Lots of people are making their way to the ring to watch two Gagarin Cup champions face each other. Akbar's is going to take on Dynamo Moscow. It should be hot out there. Akbars is always in the spotlight. Akbars is always a special team. Even after Morozov and Zaripov have left the team, even after three seasons without a championship title. They have a great arena, luxury baza, umpteen number of club employees and a great budget. They have everything. Despite all of it, Akbars faces a tendency issue. And it only gets worse every year. In September of 2013, they set a new anti-record having the worst turn-up in six years. Although right after that, Akbars did a lot to win over the fans again. They set up a lot of trivia, games, made a lot of promo videos, and even made some of their players spend an entire weekend with a handful of lucky fans. It was a hard work, which they probably should have done in the beginning of the season. Akbars provides the fans with everything they need. Recently, they've opened a multi-level parking next to the rink. Fans can get to the arena straight from there, as the parking is connected to the rink. No other KHL team has anything like that. When winter comes around, it becomes especially useful. One other thing Akbar should look into is the quality of their TV feed. It just doesn't match the level of hockey two-time Gagarin Cup champions show on ice. Unfortunately, so far neither the club nor regional TV networks can broadcast in HD, unlike many other KHL teams. And Akbars would be a treat to watch in HD. Having made drastic changes to the roster, Akbars is dreaming of another cup. It's a very energetic and speedy team you can't help but like and cheer for. It's been a while since Akbars had such a great regular season. They finished third in the East, trailing by just eight points to Magnitka. They say it's the defense that wins you cups. Akbars had no problems in that regard, finishing fourth in goal allowed, averaging just two per game. They were also second in power play efficiency rate. Their attacks were very dynamic thanks to the help of their defensemen. One of the key players on the specialty for Akbar's last season was Canadian defenseman Sean Hashka. He's paired with Evgeny Medvedev, one of the few players who was part of the old Akbars. Up front they had great snipers in Team Stapleton and Mikhail Varnikov, their center Alex Burmistrov. These five represented the most fearsome unit on Akbars. Every town has traditions of its own, says Mikhail Varnikov. When you play here, you can feel that it's a team that has been around for a long time. Local fans cheer in their own unique way. And you definitely can feel the winning spirit around here. No matter where you go, Baza, Rink or Gym, you feel you play for a very special team. I played for Torpedo and SKA before. I'm glad I had the opportunity to play for both of those teams. Hopefully they were happy with me too. Over here I try to do my best every day. That's my job. I do what I'm told and hope for the best. Another new face on Akbar's last season was defenseman Alex Osipov. A season before that he left Amur for Atlant, then joined SKA and finally settled in on Akbar's. It was quite a journey. I'm glad it panned out the way it did, he says. It was fun to go from one place to another on short notice. I didn't feel tired at all. 
It was a good season for me. I gained a lot of experience. I played on different teams with a lot of great players and learned a lot about different tactics. I definitely increased my hockey knowledge. It was great. Kazan's biggest advantage over Russia's Far East is obvious. Road trips are way shorter. It's incredibly easier over here. The longest trip we have is three hours. When I play four more, some of our trips could take as long as 15 hours. It's a whole different world. It's better for your physical and mental condition. It's much better, for sure. And there's the most severe player on Akbars, Alex Svidov. He'd been feared before, but after he won the fight against Josh Gratton, he gained even more respect. We're a team for one another. It's not just me, says Svita. If needed, I fight for the guys. And they fight for me, too. After playing for Ravengard, I signed with Salavat Ulaev. And having spent three seasons there, I got a great offer from Akbars. It's a great team, and they're always looking to win the cup. Every year. I'm happy to be here. Svitov rarely speaks to the media, which adds to his severe image. However, those close to him say it's not true. His teammates say he's actually a kind and friendly person. Before I met Alex, I also thought that he's very tough. Like if I would accidentally hit him with an elbow, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. But it's not like that at all. He turned out to be the nicest guy I've ever met. He's always ready to help you, no matter what. Every now and then he invites us to dinner. He's a great guy, I'm telling you. We're more than friends. We're family. We're all looking for one thing. There's no problem in our dressing room. Akbars also has a few talented young players. Vladimir Kachev made a name for himself even before the season got started with this spectacular shootout goal. He was born in Dnepropetrovsk, then moved to Kiev and after that to Kazan. He became a Russian citizen and finally got a chance to play in the big league. This was his first season in pro hockey. It was a very interesting season because it was my first season on a pro team, he says. I played a few games on a pro team before that, but it's just not the same. It's more fun when coach actually believes in you and relies on you. Akbars' coaching staff grows bigger every year. Two years ago they had six coaches, last year seven. They hired second goalie coach. Now Sergey Abramov works with Sfin Ari Moisinen. Valery Bilov, even when he was the head coach, prefers not to attract too much media attention to himself and shies away from interviews. In fact, the only coach in Akbars who doesn't refuse to speak to the media is Mikhail Sarmatin. His job is to control Akbars' plays from the stands and make reports of their opponents' shifts. Sometimes the best way to look at the game is from the stands, he says. You see things more clearly from up there and it's easy to make adjustments. That's why we do it. Akbar supplies modern technology and practices too. Valery Bilov gives his instructions through audio system so he wouldn't have to yell. His practices are short and relaxed. The schedule is tough enough as it is. We usually play two games in three days. It's not easy. This is why we try to keep our practices short. I like the tactics our coach supplies, says Alex Burmistrov. It's the same tactics we used under Zinitula Beliladinov when I was a kid. I know the tactics pretty well, and if I make a mistake, the coaches always help me to understand it. Last season, Akbars had one of the best golden duels in the league. Konstantin Barulin was one of the leaders in shutouts. His backup, Emil Garipov, is a product of Akbars hockey school. He's still young, but he plays better every year. I'd like to spend my entire career with Akbar, says Garipa. I'm proud I was part of Akbar's hockey school and I am proud to play for the team. I'm thankful to our management for believing in me and giving me the chance to prove myself out there. I intend to prove that they didn't make a mistake. Guys like Garipa and Kachov idolized this man. He was an icon for styles and Kazan boys. Many young hockey players admit they tried to copy him, the one and only, Alexei Morozov. Hours before Akbar's Red Army game, Morozov made his way to the ice when the rink was still empty. This is a very special place for him. Akbar's is a good team now, he says. 
They take a lot of shots, crash the net, and they look strong on a power play. It's a very dynamic team. The guys have improved a lot over the year, and the new guys look good as well. Sean Hashke looks especially good. The Stapleton Burmistro Varnikov line looks fantastic. You can tell they are the leaders of the team. There was no special ceremony for this, but it was a great gesture nevertheless. This is a plaque dedicated to thousands point Morozov scored as an Akbar's player. One thing you have to admit is that even without Morozov and Zaripov, Akbar's remained one of the biggest contenders for the Gagarin Cup and one of the top teams in the East. Our team got younger and more ambitious, I think. There are a lot of new guys on the team who haven't won anything yet. They want to win, and that's why they work so hard. I wouldn't say I feel some kind of pressure, but in the back of your mind you still understand that our goal is to win the cup. We do our best to achieve it. Winning feels great, and last season we won more than we lost. We felt great, and when you feel great, it's easier to work. That's just the way it works. We'll see where it takes us.